Hi there, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be um, a lesson on 4.1, writing and graphing inequalities. Today we're going to be writing down a few things, so you've got to copy down how to graph and everything. So you are going to be looking for 12 things to write in your notes today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to make sure of is what is an inequality, and it's basically not using an equal sign. Um, these are all of the symbols that you'll see whenever we're talking about inequalities. Less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. Um, what I would like for you to copy down on this screen is this table right here. And these are just the symbols and what they mean and maybe some other words that you're going to see them here in a moment. Um, just because that's going to help us write an inequality. So go ahead and take time now to pause the video and copy this chart first. Once you're done, go ahead and click play so you can go on to the next thing. So this is where we're going to write inequality with using those keywords from our chart. A number q plus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 7.9. Write this word sentence as an inequality. Well, we already know how to write q plus 5. And then greater than or equal to is going to be this um, symbol and then negative 7.9 would go on the other side. It's basically like writing an equation, except you're replacing the equal sign with the inequality symbol, okay? So you are going to try two and three on your own. Maybe use the chart to help you figure out which inequality symbol you're going to use. Go ahead and pause the video and click play when you're ready to check. All right, it says the number t is less than or equal to five. That means it's gonna look like this. t is less than or equal to five. Or you could write it as 5 is greater than or equal to t. Notice how the symbol in both of those examples is open to the letter or to the number 5. So that's technically still meaning the same thing. It's still showing that t is smaller and 5 is bigger. And number g subtracted from 6 is no more than 3 fourths. Well, I know if I wanted to subtract a number from 6, I would start with 6 and subtract g. And then when something says it's no more than 3 fourths, that means it can be equal to 3 fourths. And it all can be, also can be less than 3 fourths. So that means that we're going to be choosing less than or equal to 3 fourths. No more than means up to 3 fourths or below. So less than or equal to. How did you do on 2 and 3? Um, um, this section is just going to say tell whether the number they give you is a solution of the inequality. All you're doing is plugging in whatever number they give you to see if it makes the inequality true. How This is how you do that. Instead of y minus 5, I'd write negative 2 minus 5, and then still keeping that same inequality symbol greater than or equal to negative 6. What I do is I would solve it to see if it produces a correct um, solution. I keep change change to make it negative 2 plus negative 5. That's going to give me negative 7. Is negative 7 greater than negative 6? No, it is not. So this is not a solution. The same thing you want to try for letter B. Again, noticing where your Y is. You're plugging in negative 2. Negative 5.5 times negative 2 is 11, positive 11. And 11 is less than 14, so yes, this is a solution. So we can just write solution. Okay, so that's the next thing that you're going to be trying in your notes. Plugging in the number, this one you're plugging in negative 5 to determine if it is a solution of the inequality. Remember, you're going to answer not a solution or a solution. Go ahead and pause right now, try it, and then click play. All right, so number four, I'm going to plug in negative 5 where x is. So negative 5 plus 12 is greater than 7. And then negative 5 plus 12 is 7. But 7 is not greater than 7. It's greater than or equal to 7. So this one is not a solution. For number five, if I plug in negative 5, 1 minus 2 parentheses negative 5 is less than or equal to negative 9. I can maybe just focus on 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10. And then so 1 minus negative 10, that's 1 plus positive 10. And that's 11 is less than or equal to negative 9. And that one is also not a solution. OK, 
Okay, so both of those not a solution. The next portion of our notes is how to graph inequality. So you are going to copy these graphs down. You don't need to copy the whole entire graph, just maybe the first surrounding numbers. What this is saying is the open dot shows that 3 is not a solution. So everything is pointing less than 3. So how you'd write this inequality, this is representing x is less than 3. So what I'd like for you to copy down is the graph and the inequality x is less than 3. Go ahead and pause the video and write that down. Number 7 shows a closed dot and that means it is a solution. So this one is going to show x is less than or equal to 3. Still pointing to things less than 3, but now it's equal to because it has that closed dot. So what I'd like for you to do again, go ahead and copy down this little part of the graph with the colored in circle and write down x is less than or equal to 3. Pausing to the finish. So now you're going to try um, these and you're going to write down x is greater than 3 and then what it looks like on the graph. All you really have to do is copy down um, the number 3 in the middle and then the number to the left and number to the right. Okay. So go ahead and pause that, try it, and then click play. Okay, it says x is greater than or equal to 3. Since 3 is not a solution, we're going to be using an open circle, and we're going to point to things greater than 3. Is 2 greater than 3, or is 4 greater than 3? This one is true, so I'm going to point to what is true. I'm going to point to the 4. Okay, that's an easy way to remember how which way to point. For number 9, it says x is greater than or equal to 3. That means 3 is a solution, so I'm going to color in the circle. And then again, you just decide which solution would be true. If I plugged in 2 here, is 2 greater than or equal to 3? Or is 4 greater than or equal to 3? 4 is greater than or equal to 3, so I'm going to point to the 4. So that is what your two um, graphs should look like for 8 and 9. These next three you're going to try on your own. So let's go ahead and pause the video. Again, you don't have to draw this big old graph. If you want to just draw the section of where those numbers would lie. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Click play when you're ready to check. All right, let's go ahead and check this one. It says D is less than 2.5. So 2.5 is about here. Or sorry, less than or equal to 2.5. So that's going to be a colored in circle. And I'm going to be pointing everything that is less than 2.5. If I plugged in the number 1 here, 1 is less than or equal to 2.5. So I'm going to point to the 1, which is to the left. For number 11, it says negative 3.75 is greater than or equal to S. Okay, so yes, I'm going to color this in, but I have to figure out what's going to be um, correct here. Maybe I can plug in like a whole number here. Is negative 3.75 greater than or equal to 1? No, it's not greater than or equal to 1. So I'm not going to point to 1. Instead, I'm pointing to the other direction. That means that negative 3.75 is greater than or equal to, let's say, negative 4. That is true. Okay. Remember, with, with um, negatives, you have to kind of think backwards. And then the last one for number 12, P is less than 9. Here is 9. It is not a solution, so I'm not going to color it in. And the thing that would be less than 9, if I plugged in maybe 8 here, 8 is less than 9, so I'm pointing to 8, so I have to point to the left. Okay. Keep in mind for number 11, just because we switched it around does not mean that you always point to the right just because you see that greater than or equal to symbol. You really have to plug in values and point to what is true. All right? That's going to conclude our video today. Just make sure you have those 12 things written down and go ahead and get started on the next topic.